good morning all welcome to sql master youtube channel so today we are going to learn about power bi tool so what purpose power bi tool is used in detail testing and how to use power bi tool and what are the options we have in power bi tool means we are learning about power bi tool here and for what purpose the power bi tool is used okay in etl testing specifically okay so before starting the video if you are not subscribed to sql master kindly subscribe to sql master so that you will going to be learn uh, many valuable things here so without wasting time just get started so i made here slides so you can see here using power bi tool reporting tool in etl testing so first one is access to source and target data okay we use to access the source and target data in power bi tool so we ensure that uh, you have access to both source and target repository this is critical for comparing the data before and after etl process load data into the reporting tool second one is so we have to load the data in to reporting tool from database so use the power bi reporting tool to load the data from target database or data warehouse this can be done by connecting the reporting tool to database where etl process loads the data and third one is develop and execute test scenario so we have to develop and execute test scenarios also here like create test scenarios and test cases that validate correctness of the etl process these scenarios should cover various aspects such as data completeness data transformation and data accuracy and performance so next one is data comparison use the power bi tool to run queries and report the retrieved data from both the source and target so compare the results to identify discrepancies this includes comparing counts aggregations and sample data points so next one is like data validation and quality checks we also use for data validation and also for data quality here so utilize the reporting tools features from to perform data validation quality checks so this can include checking the for missing data duplicate records and data outliers and data conformity to business rules and next point is visual data validation bi reporting tools are particularly helpful for visually validating data it will represent you in the form of uh, graphically okay with graphs so create reports and dashboards that represent in data in meaningful way allowing you to spot anomalies and issues more easily so by visualizing observing the visualizations we can uh, spot the things wherever we get some issues so it will be more easy so performance testing measure and measure the performance of etl process using reporting tool this includes tracking query execution times load times and overall system responsiveness and then automate testing so we are, we are using this tool to automate testing us so whenever possible automate the etl testing process within bi reporting tool this can be done using scripting like we have to write the script for automation testing and scheduling and our automation features provided by the tool so then report generation so this is a important thing use the reporting tool to generate test reports and dashboards that clearly indicate the result of etl testing so based on that business intelligence can improve the businesses so include details on what passed what failed and any issues discovered so next one is like collaboration and documentation collaborate with your etl development team to resolve any issues or discrepancies found during the testing document the testing process and results thoroughly regression testing perform regular regression testing are uh, using bi reporting tool to ensure the, that the changes in the etl process or data sources do not introduce new issues then user acceptance testing that is uat bi reporting tools can also be used for uat allowing end users to validate the accuracy of reports and dashboards generated from the transfer data and then finally feedback and improvement gather the feedback from users and testers to continuously to improve the etl processing and reporting modify test scenarios and the cases as needed to adapt to changing the data requirements so this is very small video about uh, bi reporting tool hope you get some important knowledge here to what purpose we are using 
be added put in through. So thanks for watching this video and uh, I will be with you with some more new concepts here. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. Have a nice day.